world, but... Uh, okay, you guys... Actually, yeah, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to start slow building the Pew Pew laser while you research. We're just going to put a little production into this. That way, when we change productions... And someone did ask, when you do change production from one to the other, you don't lose your previous production. So you can start putting points into one thing and then switch it for something else. So, yeah. And again, they're going to come to Zib and blockade it, because they're jerks like that. Yeah, they're not going to be able to take it, so that's okay. Sacrospy steals Graviton Beam. That's really bad. How many spies have we got? I guess we'll build more. Um, yeah. Supercomputer done. This is the ultra-poor planet. We need an ultra, uh, an auto lab, bow spheres. That's probably pretty good. And then slow build a bunch of spies. But all this can be slow built while you research. Okay, move our ship out this way. We'll finish off the Nolans completely. A one population rich desert planet. It's got gem deposits, which is good for money, but no, I'm just going to nuke it because I don't want to have to defend it in the war. I'm just going to automate. We'll clearly win this fight, no problem. Now, this thing seems to be... They must have upgraded their shields. Or not their shields, their armor. Zordstream. See, ah, oh, they're trading it. The computer does this all the time. One person gets a tech, and they all start trading it amongst each other. Let's see if we can... Nolan Empire's been destroyed. Excellent. Jump gate, subspace communication, gives us more command point, we can have a bigger army. Hum. Um. What do I want? You know, I don't even know. Um... Suppose we could go this way just to shrink our shield some more. Phasers, like that's how far behind. We're not even at phasers yet, and the Cylons have had it for a while. Better beams, better armor would be nice. Like if we could get up to Zortrium, that might be better. Now, one question is, humans who like us, any chance you guys have Zortrum? Exchange check. No, they don't want to exchange check. Alright, they don't have anything I want. Okay, let's swing back down. Or this way. Right, so we've got everything we want to upgrade our ship. So let's go and redesign this guy. Clear everything out. We'll go with the battle scanner for accuracy. Graviton beams, heavy mount. And what can we do for point defense? I guess we're still at the uh, fusion beam level for point defense. Get these things out of here. Should we mount some bombs or missiles? Yeah, we'll mount, we'll mount some bombs. Just so we've got something for a planet. Just the one. That's probably enough. Doesn't even take up that much space. Because beam weapons, I think they only do half damage, or like one-third damage against a planet. So, even though it says 4 to 22, it's actually going to be considerably less. Whereas these bombs would actually do 5 to 40. Much, much better. Uh, and we'll rename this... Um, to, uh, I don't know, the Gravi Blaster, because it's got Graviton Beams. All right. Get rid of these pupil lasers, put on some Gravi Blasters. Same here. And here. And put everything into production. We'll have considerably more firepower. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. 
Sakura and Mershon are not at war? Okay. I'm betting that'll turn out bad for the Mershon. Volrothian humans are at peace. Ugh, the second I start moving away... Can we redirect? Yes, we can. Awesome. We're going to go intercept his fleet, which is just one battleship at Noel. And kill that sucker. So what do his ships look like? Zortrim, class 1 shields. Has interceptors, that's interesting. Yeah, nothing that scares me, I'm just going to hit auto. I'll probably end up retreating. He's got a lot of armor, but it's not like battle station armor. Yeah, there we go. Atmospheric renewer, iridium fuel cells, pulse on missiles. Yeah, we're going to keep the, going this level for a few reasons. One, Zortrim armor will be quite nice if we have it as well. But microlite construction just gives you plus one production to all workers everywhere. And nano disassembler, um, basically half pollution. So that'll be quite nice. Oh, he's got more ships coming over here. Well, we may as well keep playing the interception game. Actually, we could go and blockade his homeworld. We're not going to attack it, but we can certainly blockade it. Good, these guys finished their spy. How long will it take you to build a ship? Not too bad. Atmospheric renewer, followed by ship. And let's get these transport over to Poculum so they can all combine. No 3 finished... Oh, Brussels 2 finished the Gravity Blaster. Wow, that was really fast. Let's queue up another. And Noel 3 finished a battle station. Good. Still got a ways to go. Research lab, soil enrichment, spaceboard, supercomputer. All good stuff that we want. Oh, his ship left. What a chicken. Okay, grab a blaster. Move him over there. Oh, oh. And Terrans are back. Okay, we just finished a bunch more ships. Oh, by all means, keep building them. Did we, uh, did our new design do anything here? No. Oh, do build an atmospheric renewer first. Reduce pollution. Make you build a little faster. It's a worthwhile investment. Okay. Oh, and Terran Fleet is just one scout ship? Are we still at that phase in the game? Alright, well, I'll move all my ships to, to Zib, and we'll easily, easily be able to repulse them. Those attack fleets get quite a bit more powerful over time, but apparently they're not there yet. So we're now at negative five command points, and our income has dropped incredibly. In fact, next ship we build is actually going to send us into the negatives, but I think it's worthwhile at this point. Autolab finished, bow spheres, good, good. They do travel slowly, at least. It's going to take, it took them five turns from when they showed up, so four more turns before they attacked. I actually wished it was a little faster, because I'm in place and I'm ready to attack the Cylons. Microlite construction, nano disassemblers, Zortrium armor. Ah, oh, so good. We can actually go one more level further than that and get the Neutronium armor. That's a pretty heavy research cost here, and I think I would rather, I don't know, get better guns or something, maybe. Maybe go down into the construction. Actually, that'd be pretty good for a few reasons. Let's go with that. I'm going to say our ships are pretty decent, and this time what we care about is the production more. Whoops. Must have hit a wrong key somewhere. Okay, attack me already. Oh, good. She gained a level. The Bulrathi, what do you want? Non-aggression pact. Sure, that sounds good. What do I have with you? Nothing? Was I, was I, I guess I wasn't communicating with you for a while. I don't know. That's good. Hopefully our relations will improve and we'll create some trade and research packs soon. Okay, next turn the interns attack, but just one frigate is going to be fine. Like, it does penetrate your shields, which really, really sucks. Their weapons, I don't remember if we talked about this last time, if we've seen them in this replay. I've, just, I've been playing, and I keep forgetting. So the Antarans weapons, the particle beams, automatically go through your shields. So, it doesn't matter how strong your shields are, it's all about armor. They also have really good armor. Luckily, this is just a scout, but they, even as a scout, they have a lot of hit points. They've also got really good beam defense, missile evasion. They only take, like, one-third damage from everything, and they always blow up. But this, this will be fine. And we finished another Gravity Blaster, so that's nice. Uh, at this point, I'll probably have to stop building them. Just go back to researching, especially on Brussels 2, which is my capital, which has the artifacts. 
No one's taken that space dragon planet yet, which is kind of interesting. Okay, it'll take me three turns from Zib. How much from Brussels? Good. Okay, once again, all my ships will meet up there on time, and hopefully this time we will actually take them out. We've got a crazy excess of food. There we go. Still. And one of you. There we are. Still been looking gravity blasters all over, so we're actually going to have a horrible, horrible upkeep, but it'll help us get over the hump. We do have a fair amount stored up, and if we need be, we can put more places on trade goods. Oh, finish the supercomputer. Okay, that's good. You just trade goods, but I'll have you do it probably just passively while you research. Okay. Human spy steals planetary radiation shield. That's okay. It's not really the end of the world. I don't mind too much. It is annoying that I'm still being spied on. I guess I should take some more spy techs maybe next time my research pops. What did I finish here? Oh yeah, the gravity blaster, but he won't make it on time. Um, I'll just have him sit tight for now. All right, minus 35 income. And choose the combat. Oh, they've even expanded. Oh, their homeworld doesn't have a battle station this time. They've only rebuilt a starbase, I guess, to try to get in there quicker. They do have two battleships but I have a larger fleet and a much more sophisticated fleet this time around. I guess, actually, I should attack them at their new planet, which has got no defenses. Then I can kill their ships in orbit very easily, and next round, take them out. Oh, I've got such a huge army. And their ships are going to be Zortrium, Class 1 shields. Yeah, no problem. They've got the phasers, but I don't care. We should be okay. Yeah, the ships with the phasers are doing a lot, or the fusion cannons are doing less damage, I think. The graviton beams are actually doing very impressively here. Well, no, the, f the, f the fusion beams are doing okay, too. We're just going to bombard this planet. I don't even care about it yet. We'll take their real system soon. Okay, new technology. Planet construction. So now we can turn asteroid fields or gas giants into planets. Now, they do come out as just barren planets. They'll either be medium or large, depending on if you do an asteroid belt or gas giant. But then, you, of course, you can terraform them, and it just multiplies the number of planets you have access to like crazy. It's actually really quite nice if you've got the spare production. Automated repair unit, man, I don't really care. Actually, it does repair your damage from turn to turn in battle, but I don't really... It's not a thing. Recyclotron uh, gives you plus one production per population point. It's actually not bad on the bigger planets. Um... Right, money thing is still a thing. I actually think I'm going to go down sociology here, just so we can get the uh, planetary stock exchange. Actually, Astro Universities are really good, so we'll go down sociology. And I'm kind of all over the place, but that's just the way I roll. Um, we'll build the Recyclotron. Oh, artificial planet. Yeah, let's get started on that. Sure. You don't even have to be on research. Okay, so we'll move uh, we'll move some ships over this way, I suppose. Have our one big attack fleet. Okay, more combat. Alright, let's go back after their capital. And I'm just going to hit auto. So we got the antimatter 